Hey guys, I'm going to demonstrate something here. <laughs> I've shown it before in the videos, but I'm going to make this a whole separate video. How I square my logs up. The reason I'm, I thought I had one out there, but I went through my videos and I didn't. I think it's in the middle of one of my videos. A guy got a hold of me and was asking me about the setup on the, the Frontier Rose 27. He was getting his cants looking like a diamond, he said. And... <laughs> The only way that could happen is if one, your head isn't adjusted, so your blade isn't parallel with the bunks, and he said they were. And the only other way that could happen that I see is if you're not square. Now, I don't rely on these backstops to square my logs. I always use a, a carpenter square to square up my logs. So I'm going to roll this up 90 degrees and I'm going to show what I'm doing, and I think the guy's name was Brian. I hope this helps. So it's on, it's a dog, the log dog's loose. Now, Frontier, one of the complaints on these mills is the log stops. You know, uh, why I haven't welded it on yet, let me show you. These are the log stops and this bolt and three other bolts on that side thread into this bunk. Now they, uh, they just thread in. I put these jam nuts on the back and just tightened them up. I'm not concerned about the thread. If they blow out, they blow out, but it still doesn't hold. So maybe this winter, one of my mods will be to uh, weld two of these on get them square, get them perfectly square, then weld them. So. <clears throat> so I'm gonna flip this 90 degrees It'll roll up against these log stops, and I'm going to show you how I square it up. Now, I've seen other guys do this. Quite a few uh, mill guys do this. So there's just so many of them. I don't know if I... I'm pretty sure... Let me get this first before I concentrate on what I'm going to say. <clears throat> I think I, the first guy I saw doing this was Nathan Elliott from Out of the Woods. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, I'll put a link to his channel. Excellent channel. I think that's who I saw doing this. And it's the only way, and I've seen several other guys doing it, but I'll link Nathan's channel. All right. So we're gonna roll this 90 degrees. My log stops, I don't even know if they're square anymore. I adjust them periodically. I don't know if you can... Can you see that gap there? Right here, check this one. This has a little bit of a gap. So now you'll need a carpenter square and you'll see, look how much that's off. Right there. Here's that knot, it was sitting on that bunk, sticking it way up in the air. So I'm gonna pull this back. Let me take a look, see what it looks like on the log bunks. Or, all right. Now, I may have gone too far. Just a little too far. You see, I got a gap here. So let's go back a little bit.
<laughs> Find a spot to hook here. And this will ensure your lumber is square. A little more. Ooh, look at that, guys. That's hitting really good. I hope you can see that. So I'll, I'll snug this up a bit. Boy, if you don't own a log right cant, I know some guys really like the wooden handles, but I sure like those log right cants. Several of you have noticed that my log right cant is bent. It's working. I have the feeling it's getting worse though. Um, you know, aluminum don't have memory like steel. I don't think, I don't know if I can get it back. One of these days, maybe I'll take my tractor and jam it up against something and just have to buy a new one if I bust it. So I got to finish this up now. <clears throat> so that'll do it guys. Hopefully you got something out of how I square my logs up. It's the only way I rely on, guys. It really, truly is. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a great day. Take care.